Hey guys, Merry Christmas, um, or if you prefer, Happy Holidays. <clears throat> uh, Hellhound here, and uh, I just wanted to share with you um, some of the cool stuff I got for Christmas this year. Um, besides this awesome shirt. Um, <laughs> um, I got this little uh, Darth Vader action figure type thing um, for my sister. It's actually for the game uh, Disney uh, Infinity or something. I'm not too familiar with that, but... Um, I think you you do something with this figure and then you can play as Darth Vader in the game. But um, I don't have that game and I don't really plan on getting it anytime soon. So right now it's just kind of a decoration that I have on display in my room. Um, so that was the first cool thing I got was uh, Darth Vader. Um, <coughs> and then we have <coughs> the Real Ghostbusters Complete Collection. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. The entire... Uh, cartoon that started in uh, 1986 um, that I grew up with. I used to watch this when I was little. I loved this cartoon. Um, and at one point when I was a kid, I even started to like it better than the movies, um, you know, which I've always been a fan of as well. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this is actually something I ordered um, for myself in like early December. It didn't get here until really close to Christmas. So um, yeah, I got it myself. So I guess it was a kind of a gift to my I had a little money left over. Uh, I spent a small fortune this year with my family and friends. Um, uh, Christmas cleaned me out pretty good, but it was worth it, you know. And so um, this was actually $100, but it was money well spent. Um, it comes with a, a lot of great extra features. Um, here's a little booklet and a little episode guide. You know, it just tells you about, you know, the episodes, a little bit of trivia. Um, it even comes with this bonus disc, which um, features the previously unaired pilot. Uh, which is basically just the extended uh, version of the theme song, <clears throat> basically, uh, the opening. And yeah, all five volumes. Um, I believe that volumes four and five hadn't actually been released outside this collection. So if uh, somebody has gotten those, they probably came from this. Um, they were used. I uh, could have mistaken on that, so don't quote me. But um, yeah, we got volume one, uh, volume two, you know, three. Uh, four and five, um, you know, just hours and hours of great times, uh, <laughs> I just love this show, it's excellent, one of my favorite AV shows, along with Ninja Turtles, and Thundercats, He-Man, Transformers, G.I. Joe, uh, you know, absolutely, just absolutely love it, um, now when Lorenzo Music was replaced by Dave Coulier as the voice of Peter Vinkman, and the episode started to focus on Slimer a lot more. I kind of lost interest when I was a kid. But, um, you know, the show did get a little better after that. Um, it kind of declined. But then it got a little better again. Um, I still prefer music to uh, Coulier as Vinkman. I think he nailed the role. I think he's had a great... Uh, apparently Bill Murray didn't like the voice. He sounded too, like, too much like Garfield. Uh, ironically, he... Uh, would go on to play Garfield in live action movies. But I don't know why I cared, because for one thing, the characters didn't look much like their movie counterparts anyway. And Frank Welker, who voices Ray, um, you know, Dan Aykroyd never complained that um, Ray sounded too much like Fred from Scooby Doo. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, also, uh, um, uh, Buster Jones replaced uh, Arsenio Hall as the voice of uh, Winston, but. There wasn't much of a difference there. It kind of sounded the same. Um, Ernie Hudson actually auditioned uh, to voice uh, of Winston, the cartoon, oddly enough. He was the only one of the live-action uh, actors who did that. But, um, yeah, I just love this cartoon. Uh, I'll talk more about it. I'll make a video about it someday. But um, that was definitely uh, one of the best things I got, even though it was something I got for myself. Um, all right, now let's look at some of the other uh, items. Now, first we have this... Uh, Sound of the Beast, the complete headbanging history of heavy metal. Pretty cool encyclopedia. Uh, you know, so many of my favorite bands. I and mean, gosh, I open the page and there's Black Sabbath right there, my favorite band of all time. Um, you know, so much cool, um, interesting info. I've actually um, looked at, through this at the bookstore. I've read a little bit of it before and I've always wanted it. I actually didn't ask for this for Christmas, but, um, you know, my family knows what I like and so... They got it for me. I definitely appreciate it. I highly recommend this. Um, it goes into the history, everything, Norwegian black metal, uh, you know, the Florida death metal scene, just, you know, the, the roots, uh, how heavy metal started, you know, is everything. Um, so it's definitely a must read if you're a metalhead. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, and then speaking of that, 
We have this heavy metal activity book. Uh, now this is just a riot. Um, on the back it says, at last an activity book for metal heads from Slipknot to Spinal Tab. The brain teasers are all here. Use some magic and the answers are, answers are sure to come. It says Ronnie James Dio said that. So um, that's pretty cool if he did. Um, yeah, lots of really hilarious stuff. You got Color, Rob Halford from Judas Priest. Um, <laughs> uh, finished drawing Eddie from Iron Maiden. Um, you know, <laughs> Heavy Metal Sudoku was 666. And then this, uh, Connect the Dots to, um, or no, Connect the Moles to find out who this Motorhead member is. Uh, you know, it looks, you know, it would be shaped like an L. Of course, it's a Limby. No, that's just hilarious. Uh, this is a riot. Um, we got Color Metallica, uh, both versions, the one with Cliff Burton and the one with Jason Newstead. Uh, <laughs> this is just really funny. Um, what a cool idea, you know. Uh, connect the dots, the color dime bags, goatee. Uh, this is really funny. Uh, I wasn't expecting this. Um, <laughs> I don't even know where they found it. Um, yeah, sort of the two matching Sepultura logos. It's all kinds of fun stuff. It's like a parody of, uh, you know, kids' books. Uh, help Ozzy get to Ozfest. Oh gosh, just too funny, too good. Uh, such a great idea. Um, <laughs> by the way, it was a very warm Christmas this year, uh, at least where I'm at. It feels like 4th of July. It was actually so hot last night, I had to open my window. Um, it hadn't snowed yet, obviously. It's way too warm for that. Uh, it has been really foggy, though, so that's cool. Um, yeah, I like white Christmases. I like for them to be snow. <laughs> um, you know, but... Oh, well, uh, this is definitely the warmest Christmas I've ever seen. Usually we get tons of snow uh, where I live. But not this year. It's not even cold. I don't even need a jacket when I go out. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I also got this really cool uh, James Bond book from Life. Um, the history from, you know, from the Sean Connery era all the way to Daniel Craig. Um, some really cool uh, information here. I haven't really given it much of a look yet. Um, Pierce Brosnan, I think, is actually kind of an underrated Bond. He's my third favorite after Connery and Moore. Um, just barely beating out Daniel Craig by a hair. Now, I think Daniel Craig's movies might have been slightly better than the uh, big-budget block blockbuster uh, popcorn movies that um, Brosnan's were. Uh, Daniel Craig's a lot more serious, more dramatic, um, a little different in tone than some of the previous Bonds. But, uh, yeah, they're all good in their own way. Each era, era has something great to offer, you know, just you can't really compare them. Because they're also great in their own way. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff in this book. I look forward to reading it and you know at length um let's see uh the only video game i got this year was a good one uh you know spider-man and venom and maximum carnage for the super nintendo now i have lots of great memories playing this game growing up i loved it when i was younger i still do i actually never owned it i would always rent it from the video store and i would always play it at a friend's house but i actually never owned it until now and i'm going to be playing this constantly in fact as soon as i end this video I'm probably going to pop that in and uh, relive some great memories. Um, two CDs this year. We have Strange Highways by Dio. Um, I'm sure you guys already know that Ronnie James Dio is my second favorite vocalist of all time next to Rob Halford. Uh, he's just amazing. Um, and I'm very glad to own this CD. I now have all the uh, Dio solo albums. Uh, well, it's actually a band it's called Dio. Not really solo, but you know what I mean. Um, as opposed to Rainbow and Black Sabbath. <coughs> Um, the only ones I don't have are Sacred Heart and um, Magica, I believe. I don't think I have Magica. I really want to get it, though. I think the, I'm pretty sure those are the two I don't have because I did get Angry Machines um, somewhat recently. Uh, yeah, very good album. Look forward to uh, driving around and uh, listening to that later on today. Um, then we have... Vital Remains, Dawn of the Apocalypse. Um, I find them very underrated. Uh, they're one of my favorite death metal bands. Um, you, know, you don't really hear too much about them. Um, this is their fourth album. Um, and their first to feature uh, Thorn, I believe his moniker is, on vocals. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Thorn. Um, now, their first album, Let Us Pray, and their second album, um, Into Cold Darkness, both had Jeff Gruslin um, as their singer. He was a great death metal vocalist. He had a really cool voice. Um, he left before the third album, uh, Forever Underground, came out, where uh, Joe Lewis, the bassist, took over for vocals. And he had a good metal voice, too. Um, I really like Thorn. Um, it's a shame that uh, he didn't do more with the band after this. Because um, after this album, they got Glenn Benton from Deicide um, to perform vocals for them. Uh, Glenn Benton's one of my favorite death metal vocalists as well. I think he has awesome uh, 
death metal voice switching between the you know the low demonic growls the high pitched shrieks uh you know he does it so well he sounds awesome he's right there with George Fisher and you know David Vincent and you know all of them uh so um so yeah I'm really happy to own Dawn of the Apocalypse um very great album definitely one of my favorites from them um Jeff Gruslin probably was my favorite vocalist they had but I think Thorne is really good too um, all the singers they've had are pretty good. And, uh, as far as DVDs go, I got these two. Um, The Stuff, which is a great 80s, uh, horror film. I've always loved this one. Um, if you like The Blob, you'll probably like this a lot. Um, you know, I love both versions of The Blob. Uh, the 50s one and the 80s one. Especially the 50s one. Um, uh, it's not really that too similar to The Blob. You know, it is an evil substance. But this time it's kind of the opposite. People eat it. And then, you know, it takes them over and does disgusting things to them. I won't, I won't spoil it, because you just got to see what what happens um, in the movie if you haven't seen it yet. But uh, it's a great, great movie. Uh, I love it. Uh, so, yeah, the stuff. <laughs> the, the right stuff. <laughs> and then uh, I also got Street Trash. Uh, now, this isn't the preferable cover. Um, I like the original cover better. This is some new uh, artwork. Um, you look it up, the original cover poster is a lot better but oh well whatever very disgusting very gross movie uh i've never seen anything quite like it um but uh, i did ask for it and yeah it's it's uh what i was been wanting to have in my collection for a while so yeah that's street trash and um and the only other movie i got was actually a blu-ray the horror show now this movie never got a dvd release um it was on vhs of course um i waited for years and years for it to come out on dvd it's known um, as House 3 outside of the States, and <clears throat> I've already reviewed uh, the first two House movies on my channel. I talked a little about the mediocre House 4 as well. Um, this really doesn't have anything to do with the House series, but, you know, um, it's the closest thing to a real House 3, and that's, you know, what, as I said, what's known as outside of the U.S. Very good movie. Um, Brian James is a great villain. Uh, Lance Henriksen is a star. Um, it's really excellent. Uh, I don't have too many Blu-rays, so um, please add this one to my collection. Um, there's a few more I'd like to get <clears throat> here soon. I've actually got $300 worth of Amazon gift cards for Christmas as well. And I'm going to be buying a lot of movies and CDs um, with that. And a lot of them I'm going to talk about on my show. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, The Horror Show. Great movie. Check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, but yeah, well, um, that's basically it. I think uh, that about wraps it up. I got some pretty cool stuff this year. And... Uh, I hope you did too. Feel free to let me know um, some of the cool stuff you got in the comments. Comments. Getting tongue tied. Uh, Alright, guys. Well, um, I'm Hellhound. Thank you for watching my show. And uh, Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. See you later, guys.